Time now for your forewarn weather with Nate Larson. All right, 613 on your Friday. I tried to find a shot at Brian Head. This is about all I can find. Looks like a whiteout uh, on the lens there. Six inches now showing up on some of the weather stations in and around Brian Head Ski Resort in southern Utah. Uh, a look from Black Desert Sky Camera showing some of the clouds increasing yesterday evening in southern Utah. We've had a good amount of moisture move through uh, the southwest portion of the state. Chances of showers continuing through late morning across much of St. George and then just a slight chance into the afternoon. We've had heavy snowfall in areas of Iron uh, and Beaver counties where we've had slushy roads and accumulating on the grassy surfaces. A winter weather advisory showing up to six inches is expected there. Uh, in our northern mountain areas, not quite the snowstorm we were hoping for. Only a few inches popping up in uh, Park City Mountains Canyon's snow stake. Uh, we're seeing really healthy rainfall totals though. In fact, Olympus Cove showing over an inch and a quarter of moisture. Magna 1.16. North Holiday 1.08. Centerville's had over a half of an inch almost seven or uh, three quarters of an inch at 0.68. Still seeing quite a bit of moisture out there this morning on your Friday as you step outside. So have the umbrellas, the jackets handy as you head out in northern Utah. Snow clothes in southwestern Utah. We're seeing quite a bit of snow shower activity still across that area. As snow levels have been hovering above the valley floors, roughly 5,000 to 6,000 feet up north. Even some of the mountain valleys uh, seeing a bit of a wintry mix uh, with just rain showers for Salt Lake and Utah counties. Notice the line of thunderstorms inching further east as our trough of low pressure works its way eastward as well. Quite a bit of lightning across uh, areas uh, from Grand County all the way down south into Kane County, now pushing into San Juan counties. And I mentioned the snow shower activity across Iron and Beaver counties, even southern portions of Miller County and uh, the Zion National Park area seeing some snow showers as well. Temperatures hovering right near freezing for Cedar and for Milford. St. George at just 49. Nice and cool there. Lake Palette 51, still 56 in Blanding. The cooler air working its way south and east. We're in the low 40s for northern Utah along the Wasatch Front. Future cast showing the counterclockwise rotation with our storm system. The center of it shifting a little further south and east will likely pull moisture out and away from northern Utah throughout the afternoon and evening. So best chances of any lingering moisture will be across central and southern Utah. As we get into Saturday, we're going to maintain this counterclockwise rotation into the state, giving us an east easterly component uh, to our storm system. This will likely funnel or generate some strong downslope winds across northern Utah. We tend to see this as the cold air pools up against the Wasatch Range and then it rushes down along the Wasatch Front. We do have high wind warnings uh, and wind advisories for much of northern Utah's valleys tonight into Saturday. Notice the moisture continuing to impact areas of eastern Utah. This is even into Sunday. We're going to keep a chance of some showers. Wind alerts mentioned some of the strong winds. Could see wind gusts up to 60, 70 miles an hour in Weber Davis County. Salt Lake County included in a wind advisory gusting to 55 miles per hour. This kicks in tonight through tomorrow. Notice some of the strongest winds models showing from about Farmington, Davis County through Centerville and Bountiful areas. Uh, but we do have some stronger winds we could see up near Ogden Canyon, Weber Canyons as well. Rain accumulations still expecting another ha uh, quarter of an inch, maybe up to a half of an inch of rain in some locations. Blanding three quarters of an inch. Not surprising, of course, with how much moisture we've seen in northern Utah as the storm system continues to inch there. And we do have some freeze watches uh, and warnings in place. So freeze warnings for uh, Duchesne County, portions of Utah County, and north in uh, areas from Tremont north to the Idaho state line, so northern Box Elder County, expecting to see temperatures down to 30 degrees tonight. In fact, Logan down to 30 degrees as well. Uh, Salt Lake City 37 or so, Delta low 30s. Temperatures across northern Utah. It's going to be a chilly day today. 40s and 50s for most locations. We're all trending about 15 degrees cooler than normal. 42 in Fairview, 34 for the overnight low. St. George looking at just 60 for the high today. High wind warning in effect through San, uh, Saturday morning as well. Strong northerly winds out of the canyons could see gusts up to 60 miles an hour. Some rain showers lingering Saturday. Temperatures starting to rebound. We'll be in the 70s early next week with low to mid 80s Wednesday and Thursday. The Wasatch Front dealing with some showers. The wind as well. Partly cloudy skies on Saturday, upper 50s for highs. 60 on Sunday. It's going to be gorgeous next week. We get the sunshine returning as well as milder temperatures. Comfortable, in fact, with mid-70s midweek next week. That's about 10 degrees above normal.